I know that she's thrilled. I think that she is with us all the time. There are so many instances where you know that she's right there with us. And the fact that not only Be Like Brit, but the thousands of people that are helping the Be Like Brit Foundation, I think that she would think that was incredible because we couldn't do this without the support of wonderful people, both emotionally, financially. At 19, Brittany Gangle traveled to Haiti with her college, Florida's Lynn University, on a three-week humanitarian mission. She arrived in Port-au-Prince just one day before the seven-magnitude earthquake that devastated the country, killing an estimated 230,000 people. Brittany, three of her fellow students, and two professors were killed, crushed in the rubble of their hotel. Brittany sent me this text just three hours before the earthquake. They love us so much and everyone is so happy. They love what they have and they work so hard to get nowhere, yet they are all so appreciative. I want to move here and start an orphanage myself. There comes a time when we hit a certain call When the world must come together as one There are When it's time to lend a hand to life The greatest gift of all We can't go on Pretending day by day That someone somehow will soon make a change Be Like Bridge has been built out of grief out of love and out of uh, our family coming together to do something to honor Brett. And um, we have purchased land in Grand Guave, Haiti, where Brett in the Journey of Hope was supposed to travel the day after the earthquake. Call it serendipitous, call it divine intervention, but it's really where we wanted to honor her last wish and build an orphanage. We have been blessed with Paul Fallon of Trojan and Brennan, who has, with his team, designed a beautiful orphanage uh, shaped in the letter B for Brit. I really believe that it needs to be symbolic of Brit, so we've designed it for 33 boys and 33 girls, symbolic of the 33 days Brit was missing in the rubble. We want to encompass all of those that gave their lives from Lynn University and we will also honor the eight that survived in our community room for the children. Right now, they need a helping hand. someone We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day, so let's start giving. The raw reality is our daughter has passed, she's gone. And the day that our first child came into this orphanage, it was a bittersweet moment. It was just looking at this little boy that his aunt brought in and just understanding that his life, as our lives have been changed forever, his life was going to be changed forever. And I looked down at him and, you know, I said, come on, yay, which is, how are you? And his first words to me were, grand goo, grand goo, which is, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I just knew at that moment that Brit's spirit would live on helping these children. She would continue to be that voice that she was for those that did not have one. Haiti has a beautiful spirit. We just want to do our little part. It's important to us that the children have three meals a day, that they have an education, that they know that they're loved, and we want to give our new 66 children the same thing that we have given our own three children. We're out on a visit in the, in the community with some of the kids, and it really keeps them engaged with the friends that they knew before they came in to be like Brett. We really want them to be well-rounded, patient citizens. I've been one of the kids that wasn't 
you know, have a family that was helping out and then we got somebody and then that was helping out. Right now, I got an education, I can take care of myself and we're hoping to do the same for all of those kids that we support and I'd be like, wait. But if you just believe, there's no way we can fall. Our goal of self-sustainability is a challenge in Haiti because of the cost of electricity from EDH. We have designed 60 solar panels on this roof that would cover all the electricity needs here at Be Like Brit. And we've been totally blessed with so many people, whether it's someone sponsoring a child at $33 a month, or somebody who's sending clothing down, or peanut butter down. Uh, just so many, our whole lives is about how many hockey bags <laughs> we can bring down with us on the next flight, because that's how we get the donated items back and forth uh, to, in Haiti. So uh, those are the challenges, but uh, our goal is to be a self-sustaining orphanage and once we have all our children sponsored, we will have attained that self-sustainment. So uh, it's a very challenging goal, but yet one that is actual and that we can see, we can see us coming to the finish line. That's what's important to us and, and so not only are we building uh, children's lives here we're building the community as well and as I like to say to folks when they ask us are you an adoptive uh, orphanage and we're not our goal is crystal clear our goal is to raise the next generation of leaders in Haiti